So we're going to talk a little bit about using rational functions. So what is a rational function? Well, a rational function is when you have a polynomial in the numerator and a polynomial in the denominator. And so lots of things can be rational functions. You could have this be a constant or it could be linear, could be quadratic or a higher degree. Um, same in the denominator. Okay, so let's look at this exa example we have. A large mixing tank currently contains 100 gallons of water into which 5 pounds of sugar have been mixed. Okay, so we've got 100 gallons of water, 5 pounds of sugar. A tap will open, pouring 10 gallons per minute of water into the tank. Now when it says gallons per minute like that, we're talking about a rate. Um, the, the water's coming in at a particular rate. It's going to be based on time in minutes. Okay. Um, so the tap's going to open and it's going to pour 10 gallons per minute of water into the tank. 10 gallons per minute of water. Ten, I would say 10 gallons of water per minute, but that's okay. Into the tank. At the same time, sugar is poured into the tank at a rate of one pound per minute. So you got sugar coming in, you got water coming in. Find the concentration pounds per gallon. So we want to remember it's pounds per gallon. That's going to be the concentration of sugar in the tank after 12 minutes. So it tells us the time. Is that a greater concentration than at the beginning? Okay, so let's go to the rational function part. So the water, if you think about the water based on time, you're starting with 100 gallons, right? Plus 10 gallons for every minute that goes by. Now I would probably rewrite that as um, 10t plus 100. That is a linear function. We're used to that, a slope, y-intercept, that type of thing. Now the sugar, we start out with 5 pounds, and then we're adding, let's see, 1 pound per minute. Okay, so that's how much the sugar's coming in. And again, I would probably rewrite it in that standard form with the highest exponent first, and that's also a linear function. Now the concentration, that's this part right here, the concentration is going to be based on time and it's pounds per gallon. So I need the sugar divided by the water. And that is a rational function right there. Okay, now it says find the concentration after 12 minutes. So we have our function, and we want to evaluate this at 12. So it's going to be 12 plus 5 over 10 times 12 plus 100, and that's going to be 17 over 120 plus 100, so 220. That's going to be the concentration. Now, Let's go ahead and get a decimal approximation for that. So on a calculator, I'm taking 17 and dividing it by 220. Um, it's approximately 0 0.077 um, pounds per gallon. Okay, and so that's what it is after 12 minutes. That was part of what they wanted us to do. And then it says, is that a greater concentration at the beginning? Well, at the beginning, before we opened the taps, we had, what, 5 pounds of sugar to 100 pound, or gallons of water. So that was at the beginning. So you could think of C of 0 if you wanted to do it that way. Um, but you're going to get 5 over 100, which is going to be... Um, 0 0.05. So it looks like the concentration is more now, right? So greater concentration of sugar after 12 minutes. Okay, so now we have 0 .0, almost 0.08 and we started out with 0.05, so it's getting sweeter. Okay, so that's an example of how you might use a rational function and um, how to evaluate and interpret it.